morning. I'm this morning with Mr. Joseph Louis, who is the president of SunTech Solar in Haiti. Bonjour. Why don't you tell us uh, a bit more about SunTech Solar? How did you start SunTech Solar? And what is SunTech Solar? Our SunTech Solar is a company that was created informally since 2007 and formally in 2010 to help the abolish the Ted Rida in Haiti. Ted Rida is like a, a little lab that students or people use at the house that is very unhealthy. When you smoke it, they give you all the, 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 the smell, I mean, the, the fume goes inside of your, the smoke goes inside, inside of your nose, make you keep uh, sick. And we've been doing a lot of research trying to see how we can resolve, help resolve that issue in Haiti. So that's how, you know, SunTech come along. And so since that time, we've been bringing some small solar lights here in Haiti. So that's what we have a solar panel, a renewable battery mm -hmm. that can be charged and so the people can use it and the kids can use to study or people can use at their house. That's how the big Suntech Solar come out. And then we are involved in that and us as well when we do solar uh, water pump that help the, the people to drink water because drinking water is a big issue in Haiti and people having enough to spend money to for the diesel generator every day when they need to have water to put in the to pull up the water and then put in the tank. So we bring solar water pump when they so the phone cost is very expensive but the long run is better for the population because they don't have to have when they find the phone to do the water, they don't have to have any more Pump and put diesel or all this stuff because they can drink water. We have installed such system in the in La Vache and uh, in Gardens, and they put the tank, I mean, the, the pump on the, on the, on the wells, and then they fill up a big tank with 33,000 gallons and they give the water to the population. I mean, they live. So the population, I mean, for since that time, they have changed because now. They used to have water at the house every three or four days whenever they have money to put water, I mean to put gas, diesel in the tank, I mean in the, in the generator to pump the water. But now they don't have to do that. Every day they, pump, they, they start the pump, they fill the, the tank and then they fill up the water, they give everybody the water. So people been very helpful with this kind of technology that is involving all over the world. That's what we do and then we do street lights and the camps to, to help uh, security with the camps. We have drain water organization that's uh, purchasing solar street lamps. We install them for them in the camps. So at night time the women, kids can they can play, they can stay a little bit longer, they can do their little merchant, you know, because they have the lamps and since we do have problems with electricity, so we just have street lights. You know, they can stay longer doing social work or social work in the, in, in the population. It's very interesting. How, how um, what do you think are the main challenges to develop this kind of technology more in the industry? The biggest challenge we have is the funding issue. It's funding to to I mean, implement this product most than all the country. Because as you know, solar is a for an investment which is very expensive. So for, finding funding to to for this kind of technology is a little bit tough for Haiti. Even for the smaller items, which cost 10, 20, 30 dollars, mm -hmm. for the lowest people to find this kind of money, it's really tough for them to, to, to find this kind of money. But the technology is there, so if we can get help, you know, we need more help with the funding and then with the government to see how they can abolish the taxes when people like myself and other organizations bring this product here so they can abolish the taxes like you know America, Saint Domingo and other countries are doing. So the product can be cheaper for the for the bad people can buy better. Because most of these products are important. Yes. A lot of them are important. I mean we don't we don't do nothing here. Even we can we can do fabrication, I mean assemblage here. But most everything is has to be imported from other places to bring them here so we can do whatever we do then. To create the final product here. And the import tax ratio you, you mentioned is? It's from 25 to 45%. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, at the highest, they will charge you 25 percent, but it's from 25 to 45 percent taxes and, and solar stuff. Thank you very much.